All right, you guys, lovely to see you all. We made it to Wednesday, it's the 11th. We are progressing through the rest of the year. Um, I just wanna take a moment to thank you guys because we started this class March 27th, I believe. So for the most of the year, we've been together doing this every Wednesday. So really grateful for you. I know um, it's helped me as much as I've, I've heard it's helped you. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started in a downward facing dog where we wanna start moving right away so we can warm up our body. Have this strap in the front of your mat, you won't need it yet. My name is Bianca. Again, good to see you guys. Find your down dog now. Good, start to stretch the legs here. You feel the hips getting higher. Yeah, good, Caitlin. Press through the hands here. Notice how your underarms can be further stretched by sending your chest to the thighs. If you find yourself slipping, don't worry, your hands will start to warm up. Take a few breaths here. Get the wiggles out, move your hips side to side if you want, perhaps bend your knees. And then from here, just try to really feel the, the mat with your fingertips. So almost like you're curling your, your fingers into the mat, lifting the middle knuckle off the floor here. Just do that so you can feel some sensation through the forearms. Good, and then relax in your down dog. Start to find the rhythm of your breath here. If you are able, begin breaths in through the nose and out through the nose right away. Good, one more breath. Awesome, from here, lower the knees. Inhale, lift for cow pose, untuck the toes, lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Exhale, onto the fingertips, round your back for cat. Spread the shoulder blades apart. Very good, nice Josh, inhale, lift for cow. And then exhale, round for cat, but on the fingertips. Now's your chance to stretch the neck, look over to the left, look to the right with your fingertips on the mat. Notice how engaged your arms are here, forearms, biceps, shoulder heads. Good, nice Kelsey, plant the hands, shift a little forward onto the top of the knees and then exhale into a modified chaturanga with your knees on the ground, bend the elbows. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Good, keep it nice and controlled. Tailbone slightly tucked here. Let it just be the forearms. Your full body is not moving, just the arms are bending. Good, keep going. Exhales as you come down. Inhales as you come up. We got three more. You can do it. Good, yes, keep it strong, core locked. You got one more here. Nice, sit back to your child's pose, hopefully feeling warm a little bit. Come onto the fingertips, bow the head onto the mat, stretch your underarms here. Looking good. And then from here, come up to the hands and then bend the knees. Bend the elbows, chaturanga. We'll do that a few more times. Sit back to your child's pose, onto the fingertips. Inhale, come forward, full body, onto your chaturanga. Make this smooth. Yes, press back to your child's pose. Two more. Inhale, come forward to your chaturanga. And sit back, one last. Inhale, come forward into your chaturanga, feel the strength. This time come all the way down to the floor. Good, then tent the fingertips as wide as your mat, maybe wider, inhale for cobra. Lift your chest, lengthen the legs, maybe spread the legs apart here. Find a V-shape with the legs and then look forward. Good, try to undo uh, any of that posture things when you're working. And the exhale, come down. 
bring your right hand to the right side and your left hand to the front left and then do the cobra but you're like a little bit twisted here be gentle nothing too strenuous here right hand to the right mat left hand forward oh someone else is here let me let them in and then exhale come forward and down we'll switch right hand forward left hand to the side and then lift for your cobra it takes a lot of core to do this arm strength lift good exhale come down hands next to your ribs this time up dog lift the chest lift your kneecaps if you can your kneecaps your thighs are off the ground lumbar spine is neutral relaxed chest is yearning forward relax the shoulders parker and then downward facing dog send it back nice hopefully we're all warm hopefully the hands are more planted a little bit more traction there now focus on straightening the legs here so you can really feel the stretch in the hamstrings just one more breath on the exhale come forward into your forward fold tippy toes hug the, the elbows here start to sway side to side just let any of that the cracks come through let it pass and then now's the time to deepen the breath if you haven't been able to catch the rhythm just keep working on it and then take the hands behind you interlace inhale halfway lift fist to the back spine super long knees a little bent strong core here yes keep squeezing the shoulders you got it high socket exhale forward fold into your bind hands above your head maybe above your toes just depends on the range yes let yourself look backward and then take your hands to your low back here inhale stand up slow knees bend arms up and then exhale to your back bend here go post the arms let this be big inhale come up hands to your heart exhale forward fold try to keep the legs strong as you come down inhale halfway lift lengthen hands to shins exhale fold inhale reach the arms up exhale back bend squeeze the glutes here mindful of the chest opening and lifting up inhale arms up exhale hands to heart fold forward strong core strong thighs good caitlin inhale half lift exhale fold you got last one inhale rise up squeeze the glutes squeeze the hips exhale back bend inhale retract rise up exhale hands to heart come forward your next inhale here is a chair pose bring the feet a little closer together arms up overhead and then from here try to transfer the weight into the heels see if you can relax the neck here chin neutral back of the head is long in line with your neck yeah good allow the quads to build some strength here and then take the hands all the way behind you interlace lift the chest chest expansion in chair stay bent and then exhale fold halfway only strengthen the core here pull up on the ribs strengthening the hamstrings one more breath good josh chin off the chest and then exhale bound fold very good just warming up the spine inhale halfway lift exhale frog or crow get ready plant the hands bend the knees here for 10 breaths frog pose just stretch the inner thighs connect the toes behind you here for 10. nine Keep trying. Eight, 
seven. Good, six, it's okay to fall out. I did, five, come back, four, lift the heels for three, two, you got it, Avi, and one, step back, down dog. Good, Kelsey. Good. This time, lift the right leg up, and then if you can, just bend your right knee, but point your kneecap down. Good. And then flex your right foot here, like you're holding a platter with your right foot. Just hold some strength. Keep lifting up through the left quad, your lower abs. Hold there. And then extend the right leg. Reach up. Exhale, bend your right knee. Open up the hip and start to find circles there. So we're just stabilizing the glutes, strengthening. We'll need it for later. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good work. Inhale the left leg up. Square off your hips if possible, then bend your left knee. Start to flex your left foot and then make it parallel to the top of the ceiling here. Yeah, good, Josh. And then if you can, you want to ground the right heel so you have a lot of stability. If not, that's okay if the heel's off the ground, but focus. And then from here, see if you can pull up a little more on the low abs. Good. Extend the left leg and then bend the knee, open the hip. Take a few circles there. I know the arms are tired. Just working through that. These are some of the building blocks for handstand, just really strengthening the arms. Good. And then lower the hands. We'll get off the feet. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, step the foot in between the palms. Rise up, crescent lunge. Arms up. Track your right foot a little bit to the right so you have enough space for your hips. Stack your shoulders over your hips here. Spread your right toes. Try to look down at your right big toe. And then look back up. All right, from here, Take a deep breath in. Exhale, interlace the hands behind you as wide as you can. Find your right knee bent and then lift up, gaze up into your back bend. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Bend the right knee a little more. Yeah, good. Belly button points forward. And then inhale, neutralize the spine, arms back up. This time, bow post the arms just like this. And then bend your left knee, hover it down. Inhale, reach up, straighten the legs, arms up. Look up, exhale, hover the left knee. Good, Melissa, inhale, straighten, lift, look up. Exhale, bend. One more inhale. Exhale, bend. All right, inhale, straighten. Take the hands to your heart and then drop your left heel onto the ground. Warrior one, just the legs. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, open twist to the right. So it's a little smaller because you're not in crescent, you're in warrior one. You can lean a little forward if you'd like. And then imagine there's a wall right where your right hand is push up against that wall so you can deepen the twist. Hopefully your left glute is still working. Good, then take your right hand to the sacrum, straighten the left arm up to the sky, straighten the right leg, breathe in, look up, back bend, and then exhale to your pyramid pose, come down. Release your right hand as well as the left. Try to pull the right hip back here. And if you have blocks, you can use them. Otherwise, just hands or fingertips on the floor, maybe palms. Work your right quad, really work to straighten that right leg. Bend the right knee, inhale, standing splits, rise up, left leg high. And then this is the, the time where you try to lean more weight into the right inner arch of your foot. 
flex your left foot just like earlier and then try to pull up on the low abs really work here good release your left foot down and back and then inhale the right hand high so now you're in the twist from here you have the option you can start to turn your right toes to the side turn your left toes to the side so you can get into this outer hip region. If you would like, you can rainbow the right hand up and over so you can deepen that hip stretch. Let it come from the inside part of the muscle all the way around the, the glute, all the way up to the frontal hip. Good, keep that left arm strong. And then take the hands down to the ground Rotate the toes to point forward and then find your runner's lunge here. If you are tired of being on the wrist, you can come on the fists. Please, if you can, shift forward and back here. Get into the inner thighs. Good. Preparing to come onto the hands, tuck the left toes. If they're not, inhale the right leg high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, optional chaturanga here or just stay in down dog. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Good, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And then take your time here, move the left foot to the side if you need. Maybe hands on hips. Just feel what's going on in that front right hip. And then notice if you can create more space in the lumbar spine by engaging the core and leaning the, the chest a little forward if you need. Or pulling up and back onto the right toes. So just feel your variation, take the arms up. Holding this pose is really, really good if you've been sitting. It just helps to bring awareness back into the legs using the muscles especially the inner thighs here. Relax the shoulders. Very good. And then from here, walk the hands back and around like you're trying to reach the edges of your walls and then take a hold of the hands behind you. Find your chest expansion. I challenge you here to get lower if you want. Stabilize your right toes. Strengthen the right hamstring. Keep back bending here. Breathe. Good. Left heel grounds and then inhale, neutralize the spine. Arms back up. And then straighten the legs for a moment. Give it a rest. Then take the elbows out to the sides. Getting ready here. Then hover your right knee. Down, get low. Inhale. Rise up. If you need to readjust, walk the right toes forward. Exhale, lower the right knee. Good. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Really working to stabilize. Good. And up. Then take your hands to your hips. Just lower the right heel. Give it a break. Give the toes a break. And then arms up. So now you're in the warrior one shape. From here, warrior one, take the left arm back and the right arm forward. So it's a little bit, it's much more difficult of a twist than the crescent lunge feet. Feel what's going on. So notice your obliques are working so you can do the twist right here. So feel the core twisting, the, the right heel stabilizing. Yeah, looks like you have a little bit more than, yeah, there you go, Josh. Lift up the left arm a little bit, everyone. Good. Last breath. I know that left leg is working. Place your left hand on the sacrum, straighten the left leg, and then reach the right hand up. Try to look at your right thumb here. So really lift the chin off the chest. Give yourself that stretch. And then exhale, with a long spine, come all the way down, slowly into your pyramid pose. 
bring your left hand to the ground as well. Hopefully you feel a little more open in the hamstring, in the spine, especially the lumbar spine. And traction the legs together while you bring them apart as well. So there's that push and pull inward towards the, the tailbone and sitting bone. From here, bend the left knee, inhale, right leg up into your standing split. Let yourself really play here as far as your glute strength. So flex your right foot, hug your right thigh into your hip. Yes. No, not too much weight into the hands, but more into that left leg, glute, hamstring, and quad, all of it working together. Yeah, little more core, everyone. Core, and then right toes all the way back to the back. Inhale the left hand high for your twist. And then exhale, turn the toes out to the side so you can hold here. You might need to find the angle that works for you that might be pulling back and lifting the hips high to the sky. Maybe it's reaching the arm forward overhead. What's important is that you're able to track where that muscle that wraps basically from your lowest part of your lumbar all the way around into the front. Strengthen the right lat, you got it. And exhale, hands to the ground. Good, Melissa. Into your runner's lunge. If you wanna give the wrist a break, come on the fists. Spend a few moments here just shifting forward and back. Again, another part that we don't always stretch is the inner thighs throughout our day. And then plant the hands, right toes tucked, left leg high. Optional chaturanga or head straight to your down dog here. Inhale, up dog. Good, exhale, down dog. Very nice, you guys. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step forward. This time, warrior two, arms open. Face the right side, point the right fingers forward and let your right thigh come down. Yes, build some heat. Let yourself go there. Good. Take the hands to your heart, turn the right toes in and then point the left toes out for your warrior two to the back, left side. Try to stack your shoulders over hips, spread your arms, bring the awareness through the arms. Get low. And then hands to your heart again. This time, right toes out. So now you're here in a double, almost like a double lunge into your goddess pose, get a little lower. Point the knees out and point the glutes down. Little lower, Caitlin. Good. Chin upright, torso upright. Inhale, stand up, star. And then exhale, bend back down, hands to your thighs. Start to just give the shoulders a stretch, one side, the other side. Good. Inhale, stand up, star. And then exhale, point the toes forward, get, give yourself a break into your forward fold here. Might feel really good to hold onto the ankles. If your head can reach the ground, you can go for a headstand. If you want more of an inner thigh stretch, move into your skandasana carefully. Showing you lots of different variations. Yes, core, everyone, core strong. Melissa, shift more into the heels. Take one more breath where you are. Good, Avi. And then very slowly come back to center, hands on hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the right side. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, lift the right arm up. Then if you can capture your hands together, interlace, or if you want it deeper, hold your left hand to the right elbow as you bend into the right knee. Just be careful, nothing too much, but feel the stretch. Yeah, whether it's hands or elbow, breathe. And then exhale into your triangle pose, let it go. So come forward. Yes, lengthen the hips, lengthen the right leg. Try to hold on to the outside of the right foot, please, here. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. So reverse warrior, bend, lift. And then exhale, hands to your hips. Pivot forward into your crescent lunge legs. All right, once you're there, arms up. Bend your elbows, take a hold of the shoulders. Hold with your hands. Bend the right knee and then find your warrior three. Very weird slash different warrior three here. Lift the elbows. You got it. Point the elbows forward. Yeah, a little bit more. And softly release crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, plant the hands, step back. Or you can skip, Just feel what works here. Exhale, down dog. Looking good, other side, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, warrior two, left side. Feel your heart rate, slow it down. It can be elevated, no worries. If you want, breathe in and out through the nose. Relax a little bit through the traps, but keep the shoulders strong. And then take the hands to your heart, left toes in, right toes out, warrior two. Hands to your heart, other side, extend, point the left toes forward, angle the right toes in. Good, doing really good. And then from here, hands to heart, but this time just open up the right heel. Make sure your kneecaps, your quads, your toes feel good to you. And then once you once that feels good, get low. Ideally, your your knees are above the, the ankles here, but just see what works. Yeah, lean into it, you guys. Doing so good. Lift the sternum. Good. Take the arms up. And then bend the elbows. Hold on to the back of the shoulders. Make sure this doesn't hurt your lumbar. Just Keep the roots engaged and give it a rest. Inhale, star. Exhale, fold forward, toes in. And then here, very careful, super gentle, lift up halfway. Bend your right knee to like a lateral. Feet are still on the ground, lateral bend. And then other side, bend your left knee. So. Toes are still pointed forward. Go side to side here, just stretching those really big inner leg muscles here. Frontal hip, outer hip, one more other side. Good. And then from here, come back to center, hold on to the ankles, just get low. And then take the hands to your hips, inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, left side, left knee forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift the left arm up. And then now's your time to do your variation, whether that's hands together or right hand to left elbow. Keep that right leg your, as your anchor, strengthen. You got it. Stay strong, core is working. 
and exhale to your triangle pose. Very good. Lean, take it slow. Just softly find that pose. Knowing which muscles to activate, which ones to soften. And then still, this whole time our obliques are really supporting you, your, your deep transverse abdominal muscles, your glutes. Good, inhale, lift up, reverse warrior. And then exhale, hands to your hips, pivot forward and find your crescent lunge legs. Let me scoot back a little. If lift your arms up, bend the elbows, hold on to the shoulders, the back of the shoulder blades, and then exhale, warrior three. We will be using this in a moment. Try to point the right toes down, just like in the beginning. Shaking's okay. Lift the low abs up away from the mat. Whew, good. And softly release crescent, inhale, arms up. That was very strong. And then take the hands to the floor, step back. Yogi's choice here. We'll meet in down dog in a little. Good. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, float. Inhale, halfway lift. Now for the strap. And then exhale, fold. Reach up. If you have your strap, take it with you. Inhale up. And then just take a moment to floss the shoulders. Use this as an active break. So we did a lot of kind of combined flexibility and strength just now. And then from here, please wrap the strap around your right foot. You can stay here with the knee bent. If you wish, straighten the right leg. So think of this just as your warrior three, but you're standing upright. Hold on to the strap with one or two hands, up to you. If you're using one hand, it's the right hand and the left arm comes up. Holding here. Use your inner thigh, left one. Imagine that lifting in and to the front as your right heel shoots forward. Use your lower core as well. One more breath. And release. Good, switching sides, giving the left leg a break. Wrap the strap around your left foot, then lift your knee or lift your entire leg. So the important thing to remember is try to be in the midline. Rather than leaning into the right, focus on the inner right heel in this pose. There we go. If you're holding with the left hand, reach the right hand up. And then just imagine you're laying down on the floor so your back is super straight and then your leg is up to the sky. This gets into the under part of your glute. So where the glute and the right hamstring meet. Stay strong. Pull up on the core a little more. Yes, very good and softly. Lower it down. Inhale, arms up. Take the shoulders, give them a break. Flossing the shoulders here with the strap. We'll go other side. So take your strap, place it onto the right foot, but this time take your right leg to the back in warrior three. So just trying to support yourself with your strap around the right foot, perhaps the ball side, that'll help. And then pull on the strap and your, your toe. This is just more of a test and balance here. And come up, good. Other side, I know the legs might be shaking a little. It'll feel good after. And switch. Left leg comes back, torso, yearns forward here. It's like you're looking over the toes down into like something that's lower than your mat. One last breath and release. 
Good. Good work. Shake it out. And then now we'll get to where we're going, which is our king dancer. Wrap your strap around your right foot. But this time onto the front arch of the foot and put the straps over the shoulder. Once you feel good there, then you can kick back and walk up the strap any amount. So we did so much glute work so that it's not in the lumbar, it's more in the back bend. So I'll go ahead and take a look here. Right knee tracks in, good Sarah. Yes, Melissa. Yeah, I see you, Josh. <laughs> I know. Nice, Parker. Very, very good. And then Leslie, right knee points down a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, you guys. That was awesome. Really good. Let it go. And to the left. Left side, take a hold of your left foot with the strap. Place it over the left shoulder here. And then again, picture the right inner heel here and then lift up. The more you kick up the, with the leg, the closer you can get to your toes here. And then just look at a spot and focus while you try to bring the left knee in and down towards the floor or towards the back, depending on how high you have it. So take this a few more breaths. If you fell out, maybe give it one more shot here. Good. <laughs> nice, Melissa. All right, let it go. Shake it out. All right, inhale, sit up into chair and then just do an open twist to the right and to the left, just to the right again and to the left. All right, from here, we are gonna, I am gonna show you how to hold on to your foot without the strap if you wanna go there or you can do the strap again, but from here, take the right hand out to the side. This is regular dancers when you hold on to your foot like that. If you do want to go into King Dancer without the strap, you'll take your hand, hold on to the outside of the ankle. Your thumb is on the inside. Yeah, and then eventually you'll be able to flip the grip to the toes and then coming up. So there's this like side action where it comes from here and you flip it back around. Or alternatively, you can do that with the strap. So let's do that. Hold on to the strap or do what I just did. <laughs> right foot, place your foot to the side and then begin to walk it around and flip your grip so you're facing forward. That could be another way of getting into it. That might be easier for you or it might be harder. <laughs> you got it, Caitlin. Nice. Good. Sometimes people think that way is easier because it comes from the side instead of straight up. Let's try the left. I'll show you again the other view. So take a hold of the left foot with your hand by itself. And then hold your ankle to the outside. Oh, yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> what just happened? Um, <laughs> I'm missing it on this side. Hold on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so take your left thumb to the inside of your left heel, and then that's where you're able to grab it, lift it up, and square the hips. That was tricky on the left. That means I'm so right-handed that I was like, my brain doesn't even work the same. All right, take your strap. We'll try it on the left. 
So take your hand or take your strap around the left foot, take your knee to the side. And then while your knee is to the side, bring it up, flip your elbow up, and then try that route. So those were the two options of getting into it. Yeah, slow it down a little, Kelsey. <laughs> I know, it's a lot. Good, Josh, so good. Great balance. Killing it, Avi. Yes, there we go. Softly relax, release. And good. Come back to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, elbows together. Hold on to the elbows rather. And then fold forward. Give the back a rest. Shake your head. Yes. Bend your knees a lot. That was a deep dive into dancer's pose. Take a few breaths here in your forward fold, just trying to counter stretch here. And from here, sit into your frog. Hopefully body feels balanced. You guys are doing good. And then from here, you have an option. So you have an option for dolphin pose. Dolphin. You got an option for forearm plank, head, head headstand or where I want to go if you have a little bit more if you want is your scorpion because we did so many back bends if you have a wall you know lift up grip the fingertips eventually into like a very advanced version of dancer's pose there's also floor bow make sure you feel safe there's floor bow there's Lots of options. Child's pose if you're feeling it. Parker, grip the fingers, remember when you're up. Yeah, that was good. You just have to slow it down so you can, yeah, you know. Good, Kelsey, look down a little. There. Kelsey, if you can walk the feet a little forward. That's really good, Parker. All you have to do now is slow it down. Good, Avi, getting stronger. It also helps if you have the wall too because you won't be as afraid of falling because then your toes will catch the wall. Almost there, Caitlin, very, very close. Nice, Kelsey. Nice, Sarah. Good. And let it go. Good. Knees on the ground, child's pose. Forehead down, arms by your sides if you want. And then from here into your cat pose, cat fingertips onto the mat and then just round yourself. So again, counteracting the back bends. Dancers is like mid and low back slash upper back, but adult, uh, scorpion is a lot of like mid, like really mid thoracic back bend. So lots of different ways to feel it. Just shift forward and back here. And then one more thing so that we can give the body another kind of reset is come down onto your back. We're gonna practice hollow body here. So lay down and then, you ready? Lay down all the way, just give it a rest for a moment. And then exhale, lift the shoulders, lift the legs and breathe. Head is off the floor, legs are off the floor. Whew. Arms up, it's harder. Arms down, a little easier. Arms by the ear, hardest. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Good. Lay down. Hopefully that was 
the hardest thing you've done today. <laughs> Plant the feet and then shift side to side, knees to the side, right and left. It's good to challenge ourselves, honestly, getting out of our comfort zone. All right, from here, legs up, reach, and then just bicycle the knees. You'll end up here, right ankle over the left thigh. If you prefer pigeon pose, you can do that. Otherwise, just stay laying down. You deserve it. Breathe. Maybe look right and left, just relax the neck. And then plant your left foot down. Inhale to a one foot bridge. Lift your hips, strengthening the left glute, pointing your left inner thigh up to the sky. Breathe again. And slowly come down, legs back up, just bicycle the legs, giving the hip flexors a little bit of rest. And left foot into the right thigh, into your figure four on your back. Just let the mind wander off. Nothing to do here, just rest. Back of the neck is long here. Try not to curl up the chin. Just keep the chin down. And then from here, plant your right foot down. A little bit away from your seat and then lift up for bridge. It's quite amazing getting to know if you're more right-brained or left-brained or right-handed, left-handed. Yoga really brings that to our awareness. One more breath, lift higher onto the glute and have this rest, relax. Knees into the chest, happy baby. We'll stay here for a few more breaths, just letting yourself kind of unwind now. And then take your straddle stretch holding the big toes, ankles, feet, or shins here. Try to seal the sacrum to the earth. That'll deepen the stretch. Good. And then bring the knees together. Take them into a reverse tabletop. Last thing for our core, plant your hands to, the, to a letter T to the sides of you. And then twist. Take the knees to the left, core strengthening, and take the knees to the right. Don't let the left shoulder blade lift, and then back up, left, knees to the left. Not too deep there, just, just try it, and then to the right. So nothing too low. Don't lower the knees all the way. Support it with your left shoulder. Good, and then come back. This time stretch the legs, take a hold of the big toes. If you have your strap and you can't reach the big toes, then use the strap. That's just a, a matter of your arm length or your leg length. It doesn't mean you're not flexible. And then any final poses here, if you want a regular bridge with two feet on the floor, you can. Adult, I mean, shoulder stand, plow pose, wheel pose, anything you want here for the last few moments of our class. Yeah, you can go supine twist. Thanks, Parker. And just really try to start to wind down. We'll all meet laying down here.
into one final pose, bring the feet together, knees out wide, and elbows up, hold on to the elbows behind you. As you let yourself fully, fully be open. Letting something go here, surrendering a bit more, letting go of control, letting go of striving, of trying, of any pressure in your life, responsibilities, just really seeing yourself as a person, as a being. Seeing all the ways that you're hard on yourself, maybe ease up a little bit, seeing all the ways that you can celebrate yourself Very good. And then when you're ready, draw the knees in to the chest, close your knees like a book slowly. And then get ready, breathe in. Exhale into your Shavasana, lay all the way down onto your back. If you wish to take Shavasana as you are right now, if you can. Good, breath in. Cleansing exhale, just let it go. Letting you find your softness here, just fully, fully rest, fully surrender. Relax your jaw, your face, eyelids. Relax your arms, fingers, your legs and your toes. And I will leave you here for a few moments of rest and then I'll let you know when it's time. No rush, just let yourself lay here for another minute. And just recognizing your consistency, your persistence, your health. And when you are ready to arise, start to take a deeper breath here, breathe in. Cleansing exhale, let it go. Inhale breath all the way. Cleansing exhale, release. Good. Start to stretch the arms up and back. And then Draw the knees in, start to roll to the side. When you're ready, have a seat. 
open. And then when you're seated, interlace the hands, take them in front of you, curl in. Separate the shoulder blades, just move the neck side to side here. Good, and then sit up tall. That's very good, sit up tall. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, we bow forward, sealing in our practice. So much gratitude. Namaste. Good work, you guys. Thank you so much. Have the, a great rest of your day. Drink some water, eat something lovely Thank you, Bianca. You. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys feel great and you're ready for the rest of your week. Some of you see you Friday and take care. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Bianca. Bye. Oh, you guys look so relaxed. <laughs> Thank you.